college basketball seasons. Your officials for tonight, Bart Lennox, Zelton Steed, and Keith Patterson. Quickly inside the Wiseman for the first bucket of the season. Early on, South Carolina. Tigers break it easily. Boogie Ellis for three. James Wiseman, nobody boxed him out, and Wiseman with the emphatic finish. To be a leader, even if he's not on the floor that much. You mentioned Mike Norvell. He'll be with us at, at halftime. What a week it has been for Mike Norvell, the football program, and the city of Memphis in general. Actually, he's going to join us during the first That's half right. action. There you go. Oh, to James Wiseman. Well done by Alex Lomax. You just get a real quick glimpse into the problems that James Wiseman creates for you. Getting very impressed with South Carolina State uh, in, so far in this game. Lomax for Wiseman. No, he got it back. He makes the bucket and draws the foul. He's just too big right now for South Carolina State. James Wiseman making his presence felt in his first collegiate game. He has eight points and will go to the free throw line to try to make it not. Uh, you know, the, the city showed up at such an incredible level there Saturday night and Saturday morning. Uh, you yeah, seven hours of national broadcast, and it was all Tigers. Coach, I'm so Wiseman, excuse me, John. And right open in front of Dunk. Penny Hardaway is going to try to do. Coach, you always talk about different phases of your game. I thought your special teams were absolutely outstanding Saturday night. Yeah, that the special teams has played big. You know, right now we're ranked uh, first in the country in special teams. It's I think it's important for the entire city that you guys have a bye week. And, and we played some physical games. Our guys, uh, you know, we've got some guys with bumps and bruises. Time to get time to get them healthy. And uh, you know, we're going into this last quarter of the season. But uh, it was really understanding how to play defense at the collegiate level is what he's really the, the challenge that Coach Hardaway and the staff have had from here in the preseason. They're so used to being so good athletically, they, they don't have to do a lot of the little things. At the college level, everybody's good. Nice to oh, gosh, he goes down hard as he tried to finish over Bottenberg. Looks like he's okay, but I'm sure that uh, a lot of people were up and worried about that one. Watch how hard he comes down, John. Ouch. Yeah, that, that's where you gotta be careful about wrists and everything else. Looks like he's okay. Looks okay after the dust up. And back to the free throw line, working on a 13. Ah. This talent, obviously number one recruit in the nation last year, but very, very good look. Tiger debut. Jeffries, the Wiseman with the finish. Boy, DJ Jeffries has been delivering. Always like to see a, a quick basket and nice execution out of a timeout. And a two from the charity stripe. It's a 10-point Tigers lead. And along those lines, South Carolina State is, and Wiseman again. There's just nobody who can cover this guy, and especially when you have a freshman Simmons. Job coming out shooting the ball. They find themselves down by 14 points, Greg, and they played well. Pretty good take there, but ball working against the freshman Edwards. Now gives it up. Jeffries for Wiseman. He's backed out by Neal. Almost a double-double in the first half. Five for five from the free throw line. It's a one and one, and he makes the first. You really how inconsistent that they are, even though they're talented. The first 12 minutes, certainly not a Picasso. But the last four or five minutes really showed you the potential, what they have with all of this enormous talent. Well, two offensive re four against the Bulldogs, three against the Tigers. At the end for three. Whoopee. That time the Tigers had two defenders contesting, and Wiseman leads the break. Wiseman with the finish on a great pass from Precious Achua. He was out contesting the shot by Eddie Yen, and then he released. Tigers got it. That's your seven foot one leading the break. Block right. He slowed down, then he accelerated. Oh, nice pass from Bottenberg. Makes Thomas the block. Wiseman the block. And then Lomax is smacked around and fouled. It's convenient, not when you feel like it. Everybody's good at this level. You got to bring that defensive effort. Thomas, the steal goes behind the back to Wiseman. Wiseman trying to finish. He does. He switched hands. Went with the left hand. Then he does a little shrug, a little shoulder shrug for the state, for the fans in the stands. And a timeout called by Murray Garvin. One of two from the free throw line. Well, again, the problem, you're just running into waves of, of difficulties if you're if you're South Carolina State against this Memphis team. Memphis has so many different things that they can throw. 14 shooting, 6 of 7 from the free throw line to go along with 11 rebounds. And now he plays point guard. 
That's an assist. Wiseman to Boogie Ellis. Still wise and second to none. Right on cue. Wiseman a post touch. And he's got his first bucket tonight. This is down the offensive rebound. Bowen with an open look. Bowen blocked by Wiseman. That's his fourth rejection they already. Darius Miller. And right. he was a guy that had been through the wars in Lexington. Oh, my God. Oh, Wiseman erasing another one. And it's unfortunate to see kids continually paying the price. We talked about Sonny oh. Souza as we see Elliott playing. All yeah. of a sudden, yep, he's starting. It was so bizarre. All of a sudden, he is coming out of the tunnel. And all of a sudden, he is knocking down the fadeaway jumper. Harris chasing it down. Wiseman. Oh, two more. On the team and do so without making mistakes. Wiseman with a rejection. He had eight. Into a half-court man. Wow. Good pass. What a look. From Bar, Feel like they might be a little bit sneaky underrated. Sneaky better than people are giving them credit for. Boy, look at the work on the glass. And finally, Wiseman stuffs it home. And Jonas almost lost his footing there. Wiseman from the free throw line. Ball driving on a Coro after a switch. Won't go down, but the follow will. And guess who? It's Wiseman again. And Oklahoma in the second game of the Phil Knight Invitational here in Portland, presented by State Farm.